Now, following a decade of success, the Department of Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs in KZN and the Provincial Film Commission returns this year bigger and better. This event, which is set for July, under the theme, uh, is calling now for all film and TV professionals to submit their entries for consideration to be recognized at this year's awards. The awards will see the who's who of the film and TV industry meet to share their excellence, their tapestry and cultural heritage and performing excellence. We speak now to the Marketing and Communications Manager at the KZN Film Commission, Moon Molosi. A very good morning to you. Welcome to Newsroom Africa. It sounds like such an exciting platform. As uh, people eagerly uh, look to be a part of it and submit their entries, perhaps let's talk about the criteria that one will be required to adhere to. Uh, good morning, Bo, and uh, good, mean, good morning to the listeners as well. It is an exciting time indeed. Um, of course, yeah, going straight to your question. Uh, in terms of the criteria, first of all, the KZN Film and Television Awards um, are made for, for talent as well as stories, as well as um, the location from KZN. So it's a KZN uh, project for KZN people, for KZN stories, for KZN locations. So it's all about KZN. You will understand that um, this is a project under the Department of Economic Development, which is KZN government. And then, of course, that's uh, set aside for people from KZN. But um, I think as we, as we talk to the categories, you will learn that there are categories that consider people from outside, from outside of KZN. But yeah, it's for people from, uh, that are from, that are born um, and are, are, are applying their trade in KZN. So that's basically the, the, the criteria. Of course, um, this is 2024, so we're looking for the recent work. As you would understand that um, the awards have been going for the past um, 10 years. This is the 11th uh, installment. So all the, um, um, the films or the projects that have been part of the process, they will not be um, considered for this um, installment of the awards. So we're looking for the recent work that, is, that has come out uh, of the industry. And of course, um, we're looking at an array of, uh, of genres, I mean, whether it's drama, feature films, short films, and the whole rest of that, yeah. You, you talk a little bit about categories. We know that these categories have gone from five to over 30 over the years. What are the specifications? Um, you know, it, it is all about um, growth of, of the industry. It's also about the growth uh, of the awards themselves. In fact, the awards are a reflection of the growth in the industry itself. Ten years ago, when um, Kaiser and Film was found, um, we embarked on uh, the development of, of, of the industry. And then, of course, that included, um, you know, skilling, making sure that there's uh, critical skills in KZN, but also developing stories in KZN, but also ensuring that we are able to support uh, the filmmakers and the film practitioners to be able to tell those stories. So the award stands now as a mirror that really reflect um, the industry. And of course, we had five categories about uh, 10 years ago because the industry was quite small. There wasn't much stories that were coming up. There wasn't much talent as well at that time. But 10 years later, um, we're talking um, the number that's, that's really um, around 30 um, hours. And so it's, it really speaks to, to the growth um, of, of, of the industry. Mm. With that growth of, of the in industry comes opportunities, of course, and a platform for filmmakers to really show their craft and be awarded for that excellence. Insofar as the different kinds of stories you've encountered and the kind of winner that uh, will be put to the forefront, what are the qualities there and what are the different stories that you've seen over the years and the excitement as these entries open for 2024? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's an exciting time when... Um you know, we look at at different levels. I mean, we, we have categories that ranges from at the student level. Now, you have a student that uh, has just come into the industry, has, has qualified, 
and they are able to put together a, a story uh, that is able to to take them to the stage. But also, you look at the um, you know at the other end where you have those that are uh, quite sought after that are telling stories that are traveling um, throughout the world. Um, and those stories as well, they find uh, their shine and talent uh, that acts uh, or apply their trait within those stories, they get a chance as well um, to come up on, on, on stage. It's really an exciting time. As you say, it's, it's, um, it's recognition um, of, uh, of hard work um, that, um, you know, our, our um, film practitioners put in this work. It's not an easy thing. It takes time to, uh, to put together these stories, but also there's a cost that is involved, and I'm talking money, but also there's a cost in terms of the sweat that they put in and the time that they put in. So to really have the story um, ascending the stage or one being recognized, um, you know, on the night of, of, of the Sabellas um, as the best of the best. Um, it's really an exciting moment. It's really a good thing. Uh, but for us, um, it's really the mandate that is meant. Um, as I said, that the mandate was clearly to ensure that we've got cases and stories um, that go out the world. I mean, you will know that just in, in the past year or two, um, the story Sarafina um, was... Um, out in, in Cannes in France. Mm. Uh, that's recognition of, of, um, of a story and talent that comes out of, 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 of KZN. We had a Mapansula, um, which is um, uh, quite a, an, an, an old story, but it's still recognized today. Uh, it was also recognized, um, you know, uh, globally. There's many other stories um, that are coming out, big and small stories that are coming out of KZN that you see uh, throughout the world. But one other thing that, that um, has been huge for us is really just to develop, um, you know, the location KZN so that we're able to attract big productions to come and shoot uh, out of KZN. We've seen big and small productions that are coming throughout the world and even nationally. I mean, um, Talking now, we're talking the Uzalo coming out of of, uh, of KZN. We talk about the Mukoka. Uh, we had Devon Jen. We had a whole lot of uh, those productions that comfortably uh, they're shooting out of KZN, which was not the case um, years ago. But all these things speaks to to the industry that is growing. And in the night of the Sabellas, we want to recognize the talent and say, well done, you're doing good. Yeah. Whether you're in a big production or you're in a small production, but you're doing good. So that's what the was really are about. You mentioned Sarafina. Uh, of course, we know of the passing of Mbongeni Ngema. He was uh, one of the guests that you were honored to have um, their presence, of course, at the lecture that took place. Um, you know, that in itself speaks to a legend who told stories and put South Africa um, on the map with his story of Sarafina. Who else are you expecting this year to be part of the lecture? And perhaps give us more details on, on what that entails. Yeah, so um, over the years, as you know, that the awards, when they were found, um, we found um, them in the name of uh, Simon Sabella. And that is a recognition of, um, of, of a legend, uh, talking of legends right now. That is a recognition of the legend, as you know, that in, in, in those days, um, Simon Sabella um, was part of, of the productions in the time that it was not fashionable for a black uh, person to be in that space. He directed, um, you know, uh, productions. He acted at that time. So he is a legend that we, we recognize. So uh, Simon Sabella is, is, is our brand, uh, is our legend that we celebrate. And then, of course, we've decided that we want to, uh, to inform people more about, about Sabella. Um, the new generation, when they um, they won those awards, and they said, "This is a Sabela, but who is Sabela?" Because um, I mean, people that were born uh, in the in the 2000s uh, and people that were born later than that, they don't know who Sabela Sabela is. So we decided that let's tell a story now about a legend, which is uh, Sabela Sabela. So we we um, we launched a lecture, a lecture last year, which was for the first time this year. Um, we are going to do the second installment of that, that lecture. It's all about um, really informing people about who this Sabella is about, and who is, who is this Sabella. But of course, it's an industry lecture, um, you know, on that background or on that backdrop of uh, the legendary uh, Simon Sabella. 
there will be other, um, you know, stories or other um, uh, topics that we engage um, as the lecture, lecture grows. Yeah, so that's what the lecture is about. So we, uh, we're still working on, um, on um, who will be presenting the lecture this year. So I may not be able to, to reveal that uh, at the moment, uh -huh. uh, but definitely we will have, we'll have a lecture as well, yeah.